Now let's look at SAS commands in this lecture. Also, all commands will work on all OSs. Before we begin, I've attached a resources zip for this lecture. So in order for you to follow along, please download it and extract it on the desktop. The first command to learn is pulling up some useful information from within the console window. So we can type in sas-h to find out all the options, inputs and output settings there are. Now let's focus on the most important SAS commands that you'll be using on a daily basis. Now before we actually start converting files, we need to take a look at the directory that the terminal is pointing at, which at the moment it's pointing at the users directory, we need to be on the desktop directory. So I'm going to type in cd for change directory and then type in desktop. Once we have the terminal focused on the right area, we can now start to type in our SAS commands. Now firstly, we're going to look at converting our SCSS file into a SAS file and vice versa. I will explain the differences between SAS and SCSS in the next lecture. We first want to evoke SAS by setting the option to convert and then pointing to the file we want to convert. After that, we type in a name for the non-existent file that will be created and the extension .sas. The extension tells SAS what we want to convert our initial file into. And once we hit return, it will generate the SAS file on the desktop. Next, I'm quickly going to take the example.scss file and delete it and reverse the process. Again, I'll evoke SAS, setting convert and then targeting example.sas and finally, setting the file name to be created with the .scss extension. And there we have it. Our scss file has been generated once we hit return. Now I'm going to delete the SAS file and look at converting the example.scss file into a CSS browser readable file. We do this by typing SAS, then the file we want to convert then a colon, and after the colon, we type in the file name for the non-existent file soon to be created by SAS, and we include the extension in that file name as well. So I'm going to say .css, and this will take our SCSS file and convert it to CSS. You'll also notice that it generated a .map file, and this is good for debugging and other aspects of SAS. But right now, we're just concentrating on basic commands. Before I continue on, let's go ahead and delete the example.css file and the .map file as well. The next command we're going to learn is very useful because it allows us to watch an SCSS or SAS file and automatically convert it to CSS once a new change has been saved. So now we can type in SAS hyphen hyphen watch then we need to say what file we want to watch, which in our case is example.scss. And then we type in a colon. After the colon, we finally put the file name in and the extension .css. Then once we hit return, it will start watching that scss file that we've targeted. And we can open that scss file up and we can start to make changes. So once we make a change and save it, the terminal will automatically update the CSS file and it's watching it constantly. Now to stop it from watching a file, we can press control C. So very quickly, I'm just going to clear the terminal and tidy things up a little bit. And we're going to get rid of a few files on the desktop and just leave the directory folder. For this next part, let's say you're working on a large project with many SAS or SCSS files in a directory. SAS allows you to watch an entire directory for any changes to any SCSS or SAS files and automatically convert them to CSS. To do this, evoke SAS to watch and then provide the name of the directory you want to watch. Finally, Put in a colon and after it, choose a name for a new directory. Or you can point to an existing directory where you want the CSS files 
to be generated. Once I hit return, it will generate a directory if needs be, and also it will generate all of the CSS files as specified. Now I'm quickly going to open up my directory folder and edit the example02.scss file and make a quick save and see how the terminal automatically updates as it's watching this directory. Now, if I no longer want it to watch this directory, all I need to do is again press Control C to stop watching a particular directory. Now, please do note that you can have multiple console windows open, whether that be multiple terminals on OS X or GNU or multiple command prompts on Windows, and you can be watching multiple files and multiple directories with these commands, but you need to have multiple console windows open. That's all. So moving on, I'd like to take a look at a few options that we can apply when exporting and producing our CSS files. I'm going to delete the CSS directory and I'm going to copy out examples01.scss onto the desktop again and I'm going to rename it examples.scss. Once I've done this, what I want to do is again evoke SAS, target that SCSS file and produce a CSS file as is with all the default settings and options. This generates a CSS file and also a .map file. And if we open up the CSS file, we can see how it's by default formatted. The default format is nested, where we have the selector on its own line, the properties within the selector on their own line, and the last property on that exact same line, you have the ending parenthesis in line. However, there are other formats we can choose from, but we need to specify that in the terminal. So in order to do this nice and quickly, I can just press the up arrow in the terminal. And what happens is it repeats the command that I've just typed in above. And you can keep pressing the up arrow, but we're just going to press it once. Then we can set on the end of it the compression style. So we say hyphen hyphen style. And then we put in a space and type in what type of compression we want. And there's a few to choose from. But the next one I want to show you is called compact. So I'm going to type in compact, hit return and open up the example.css file. And we can see with compact that the CSS selector and the CSS properties are all on one line. And we also have some nice white space in here as well. The next type of format is compressed. So I'm going to flip back to the terminal, press the up arrow, take out compact and replace it with compressed and hit return and then open the file up again. Compress gives you the smallest file size where you have no white space and also you have everything all crunched up onto a single line. And the final formatting type is expanded. So press the up arrow, take out compress, put expanded, hit return, open the file up and this allows us for really nicely formatted CSS where all the selectors are on their own line, all the properties are indented and nothing is crunched up. There's loads of white space in there and it's presented in a very neat fashion. So that is the different styles that we have. Now, another thing you may want to do is get rid of the source maps that are being generated. Let's say you don't want that for debugging purposes. It's not needed for you. So how do we get rid of that .map file that keeps being generated? So I'm just going to delete the .map file and the .css file. And then I'm gonna flick back over to the terminal and bring up the last command by pressing the up arrow. And then we're going to add in another option. So we're setting the style. And now also I'm going to put in another hyphen hyphen source map equals none. And so now we have two options, hit return. And now it will generate the CSS file and it will not generate the dot map file. Now these options can also be applied when we are watching a file as well. So I'm just going to delete that CSS file that was generated. I'm going to go back to the terminal, press the up arrow, and let's change a few of these options. So I want to change the style to compact. And also, right before we have SAS, we want to say hyphen hyphen watch. And so now we're watching the example.scss file and automatically generating example.css when we save a new change. We can go ahead and open up that SCSS file and then make a change and save it and then preview that change within the CSS file. And there we are. Now also you can do this for watching a directory as well. So very quickly, I'm just going to go back to the terminal, tell it to stop watching that file, 
and then I'm going to delete the scss file and the .css file and then I'm going to go back to the terminal and then what I can do is press the up arrow and then I can change the input and the output so I'm going to change the output first of all that's after the colon I'm going to set that to CSS so that's the directory that it will be generating the CSS files in and then before the colon I need to target the directory folder on my desktop once I've done that I can hit return and now it's watching that directory for any changes and there is the directory being created and within it the CSS files and that's that. That is the SAS commands.